drop two lines of code into virtually any page builder and you can have a fast SEO ready blog online in just minutes with Quick Blog. And today we're gonna to be building a better blog with Quick Blog. Most notably, I'm gonna be testing out Quick Blog and Taps. Taps is a progressive web app builder. It does not have a blog functionality. It's actually probably the perfect use case to test a tool like Quick Blog out because what Quick Blog does is allow you to embed an SEO friendly blog virtually anywhere. I had the opportunity to talk to Duran a little bit, the founder and creator of Quick Blog, and he created this tool most notably because he loved a prior app sumo deal called Swipe Pages, which I actually happen to have as well. It's one of the first videos we made on this channel. And Swipe Pages does not have blog capabilities. It's an AMP website builder. I digress. The long story short is Quick Blog solves the problem of putting a blog virtually anywhere. And this is currently available for $59 on the lifetime deal. Now you can stack this depending on how many blog accounts you need. And they also have a white label that's currently available for just $100, or I believe they're still running a little bit of a promotion. If you leave a review on three different sites, you can get that white label upgrade for free as long as you have at least two codes or more. Inside of Quick Blog, what we have is I've written two blogs now. I just wrote one recently for the last video that I did on this channel on Akoya, the AI powered all-in-one content solution. And here you see I have an SEO score. Now this SEO score is 94. And if I actually go in and edit this article, at the bottom of the page, we're gonna see some criteria which this kind of reminds me of something like Audit, another SEO tool that I've looked at on this channel, where they're just going through the basic SEO practices of what's good, you know, as far as putting your keyword, your primary keyword in the certain areas that it needs to be. Article that I wrote was using Writer, the AI Writer. And uh, once we were done, we added some pictures, made it a little bit of formatting. And this is what the actual article looks like inside of QuickBlock. I can preview it here and I think it looks good. The styling could obviously be slightly better. And what you'll see is I leave a lot of spacing here and I'll show you why here in a little bit. But all in all, this is very readable. I like the style and the way that it looks a lot. If I actually go into my AI Profits app though, via Taps, and I look at this same blog, I've embedded this now on the AI Profits blog. You'll see here the AI Profits blog. This is all running off of Quick Blog. But if I click this article here, what you'll see is the first kind of negative, and I don't know if this is tied to Taps or Quick Blog or what it is, but the first negative is this styling just doesn't look as good. Now I've actually learned through CSS, and I'm no CSS or coding expert, but I've got it so that I can style this font like this. This background and everything else is not great within my app right now. Well, the thing that I'm mostly concerned about is the H tags. They're not showing up any bigger or any better uh, inside of Taps. So the article and the content is there. I'm gonna be putting several of these articles on just to see if I can rank for anything. Uh, most notably, the very first blog that I did, Quick Blog Meet Taps. We can come in here and blogging with Quick Blog and Taps. I'm gonna to try to rank this article. I don't think that there'll be any other articles in the world. And if I go back into my Quick Blog dashboard, I have a 76 score here right now. It's really a short article. I don't think it's you know perfect by any stretch. I just have one image there. Down here, I need to add the primary keyword within the first 25 characteristics. And then my meta description could be a little bit longer. And then the title is a little short. I could improve the SEO score by doing those things. Uh, but this is the test article because I'm gonna rank this video on YouTube for Quick Blog and Taps. That's the whole goal of this video, Quick Blog and Taps. And inside of Taps, I obviously want this to show up. I want it to look decent. I'm a little frustrated with that formatting issue, but I also wanna use the YouTube video that when you search blogging with Quick Blog and Taps, my video will be up here, and then I'd love to have my articles ranking right here in the top five or so. So now that we have my intentions out of the way, let's go into Quick Blog and let's take a look at the actual tool itself. Most notably, if you add a post, this is where you're gonna spend most of your time, you have your featured image. And here you can upload an image, you can add an image from a URL, or you have your media library and an inbuilt media search, which is pulling in some copyright free image sources like Pexels, Pixabay, Jiffy, Jump Story, things along those lines. You can add your SEO alt tags to the images, which is something that Taps wouldn't allow and quite frustrating to me. I think that should be something that they should fix, but I digress. This is about QuickBlog itself. The title here is going to be the title to your article. 
And then inside I can go title and then I can go H1. And if I highlight this, I can add a header one, a header two, a header three, and header fours. I can also control some of my font colors. You can add your own custom color there. You can add a font background color, and then you have limited options for your fonts. I'm not sure if this can be worked around or if it's something that they'll be adding more fonts in the future, but right now they are limited. You can adjust your font sizing, and this is just your basic editor. I mean, there's nothing incredibly complex about it. They do have the actual code part where you can come in here and you can do the HTML code for like an H1 tag or anything like that, depending on what your needs are there. And then they also have the ability to iframe inside a blog, which I think is pretty cool. And then they have the code here, which I think is more or less if you're adding, you know, code type things, tutorials and stuff along those lines. I don't know. I don't really mess with any of that. They do have your symbols here. So you can add your trademarks and your registers, your copyrights, all of that. It's something that I don't always see on these tools. So that's a nice attention to detail. And then over here at the right, you have the ability to do categories related posts. Your blog's gonna come as a draft, but you can schedule it for the future or you can put it live immediately. It's gonna tell you when it's published. Your button text, you can override it if you don't want it to say read more. You can enable commenting and sharing. However, currently I have that enabled on the taps and for some reason it's not really showing up. I think again, there's some taps issues within the progressive web app builder, the way that it's working. The worst case scenario is you might have to look in a little bit more to the enabling of comments and sharing. But down here we have custom styling. If you wanna style your H1 tags with a different font family, size, weight, display, margins, all those things for all of that, you can even add custom CSS to an individual blog or to your blog as a whole. Now you've got your URL slugs, which is gonna go behind the actual URL bar. You have your SEO primary keywords. You're gonna want that primary keyword in the slug, as you'll see right here, SEO primary keyword in the URL. And then you've got other keywords, post titles, meta descriptions, all the basics that you need for a fast and friendly SEO blog, SEO friendly. You get the idea. Down here is that quick checklist showing you a total score for your SEO blog. And it's important that you actually follow this criteria here because one of the caveats, or I should say the points of note, is that with a tool like ClickBlog, it's using JavaScript and sometimes your page scrapers may not actually pick up on the H tags and this and that. However, it should not impact your ranking ability. So let's come up here to the top. You do have the ability to add multiple offers with a slug and a bio, all of those great things. And you have your settings where you can come in, do your profile, you can do the blog settings. This is gonna be the most important part when you first set up Quick Blog, and then you never have to worry about it again. Now to install your blog, you're simply gonna copy this, and I'm gonna show you how to do it two different ways. First, we're gonna do it inside of Taps. Let's come on into the AI Profits app. I'm gonna add a new action, and then we're just gonna to go to this HTML widget, and we'll give our action name and action tag, and then we're gonna paste in that code there. And then I'm gonna hit enter twice, go back to quick blog, and I'm gonna copy the second line of code, and I'm gonna paste that right there. Now I can use iframe or not. Inside of tabs, I don't like to use the iframe. I think it shows up better without using it. And I'm gonna go ahead and create this blog. And then what you'll see right there is the blog on tabs. Now it is a little bit odd with the formatting of the gray right here, but this teal is actually overridden inside of Quick Blog. If I come to layout settings down at the bottom, custom CSS code, I've added in the color that I wanted it to be, which is the color that I'm using inside of taps for most of the fonts and things along those lines. Is it the most readable color in the world? It is not. But I digress, we're just getting started with taps and learning things about it. You can also add your custom CSS URL. You can show how many blog posts you want on each page, your time zones, and then you've got your basic blog settings like heading, description, all for SEO purposes. Now it's important to point the blog URL out wherever you are actually putting this blog, whatever page you're putting the blog on that it's being hosted on. So that page where we paste in the HTML code, that page where we paste in those two lines of code, that is the blog URL you're gonna put right here. So look at how ugly this URL is. That's the AI Profits app URL that TAPS is giving me. So I don't like the way that TAPS is doing their C names and all those things. Again, those are the two things that I can't stand about TAPS at the time. The button settings are quite simple. You can change the button color and the text color, but there's only that one button 
You can also change the square round things along those lines. And then there is a share this setting, which I have not dug into, but there is a help and support article showing you how to set this up. And that might be why it's not actually sharing inside of the TAPS platform right now. You can also import blogs. And this is important to note, it's gonna import from a Google Sheet. So through this Google Sheet, you're gonna be able to export your blog from WordPress, or you're gonna be able to move it around or use it in your workflow, however that may be. So you can import the Google Sheet here, or you can upload a CSV. I'm also gonna show you inside of Swipe Pages. Which this is when I started this channel. We have the old logo and the old look of everything. If I wanted to come in here and add a blank section, any website builder that you can pretty much drag some code, we're just gonna come here to add module, and we're gonna type in HTML code. We're gonna, we're gonna click there and we're gonna jump back and we're gonna copy these two lines of code and you can literally put quick blog anywhere. So we're gonna paste in the line of code there and then back to quick blog, we're gonna copy the second code and we're gonna come back and we're gonna paste that there and view the page. And at the bottom of our page, we're gonna see quick blog is now on the swipe pages. Hopefully all this makes sense. This is a very simple way to embed an SEO friendly blog virtually anywhere. Think about the funnel builders or the landing page builders. I'm talking click funnels, groove funnels, Kartra, Kajabi, or your things like lead pages, swipe pages, all of those things. Now you can put a blog on them with quick blog. That is the main selling feature of this tool. Is it 100% perfect with the formatting and with the overall options? Probably not yet, but they do have a roadmap where they're tackling a lot of cool things. I think this tool is only gonna get better from here on. You know, honestly, through WordPress, I haven't had the most success with my SEO. I don't know much about SEO. I'm just a regular person that's testing out these tools, hopefully bringing you some value so you hit the like button and subscribe in the process. I'm gonna get out of here, but I do hope that you're having a fantastic day. Take a look at Quick Blog if you're looking to embed a blog virtually anywhere, or if you've got a tool that you absolutely love, but it doesn't have blog support. This is the solution.